Hello everybody and welcome back. We're about to play some more of Trails of Cold Steel. So um, again, just in case you don't know, if if you know, you know, I got the links down below to the playlist so you can you can see the playlist if you if you want to see. But anyway, we're on the episode, uh, the next one, and we're about to try to go to the Nord, the, the Nord Highlands. I don't know why I always have a difficulty pronouncing words with N. Hopefully I don't have some type of lift. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and, yeah, if I do, I do. Let's go ahead and figure out how to get up out of here. Wait a minute. Where we at? Okay, class dormitory, okay. So we need to get to the park area. And I don't know if that's it. Oh man, I just don't be knowing where to go up in here. All right, let's head to the park. Right behind that should be where we gotta go. Here we go, train station, let's go. Yes. So I actually like this arc, but I know this arc isn't, takes a while. So, okay, they're not talking, good. Shut them up, get them out of the way. Cool. All right, so we got our team. We, we got basically most of the kids other than Eustace and Alicia that pretty much have a good time getting along with people. It's like some of these kids never have conflict and some of them have too much conflict all the time. And that's kind of funny, actually, if you think about it. Some of the kids are peaceful and some of them are not so peaceful. But we're about to do the Nord Highlands. Um, hopefully these playthroughs help you guys like see the game but not actually playing the game. Because I know it's a lot of Trails games to get through. We're going to work on the rest of them. Uh, let me know in the comments and like the video if you like the series. Comment and ask me if you want me to play some of the games and I'll play them. But... Nobody want them. I, I guess I'm done. I don't know. <laughs> I'll do these Trails of games. And then that'd be the end of it. Now, if I play like the Sky series or something, since none of it's voiced, to some degree, I'm going to have to voice some of the stuff that's important. Because, well, you know, I'm going to speak it. Because nothing's voiced in the Sky games. So the whole Sky trilogy is not really voiced. Um, Trails of Zero and Azure... That one's weird. It's like that one's voiced in Japanese and it's not in English. So I don't know why they did that. So I might have to mute them and voice it. I, I don't know. Or I'll just let the text go by. I, I, I'll see. But anyway, for the Cold Steel series, they voice the most important stuff. So I'm going to let them... Well, there's an asterisk on there. There's some important stuff that they don't voice. But I'm going to let them roll with that. That's going you know, to be a pretty good way of getting us through. So let's go ahead and, uh, wait, wait, what are we doing? All right, uh, get us to the Nord Highlands. So if you're not familiar with that place, it was referenced in the Sky Trilogy a lot. <gasps> they might've even went there, but that's where Gaius comes from. That's his hometown. <gasps> Is something on your mind, Elise? Has some rugged, handsome young man caught your eye? Uh-oh. Like your brother, perhaps? Oh, Please, no. your highness. I'm not into this plot line. Hmm, I just thought I saw someone I recognized, but it couldn't possibly have been him. Someone you recognized? Hmm. <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't deny it. That your brother is handsome, I mean. <laughs> Please. <sighs> I knew that I shouldn't have told you about him. Oh, come now. I'm only teasing. There's no need to sulk. I'll give you a little something from Mariage Cross to make up for it. But that's an adult lingerie brand. <laughs> uh oh, what's going Please on excuse here? Excuse us, Captain Claire. I'm sorry. I hope I haven't sullied that your blonde girl is suspect. What's going on here? <laughs> Not at all, Your Highness. I came to inform you that your the special train to the Imperial Villa will be arriving shortly. I look forward to accompanying you today. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to have you with us. So Your Highness is suspect. Certainly. What? Anyway, let's keep on moving. Like, let's let's keep on moving. They'll they'll explain that at some point. And I'm sure they'll be back. I don't think this game just drop characters in. <laughs> Sometimes they do, but they'll either be back here or in Cold Steel too. They'll be back at some point. Like sometimes this series, they'll just drip drip some characters out. And they may come back, or they may never come back. It's some of the funniest stuff ever. I ain't talking to these kids. <laughs> like, like, no, I don't see no purpose. Okay, so now we head into the Swartz Draco barrier. 
and the north uh highlands is right past it i guess i don't know cool so it ain't much dialogue going on in this arc <laughs> i guess I, it's probably gonna come to the end i know that this this trip in particular is like backloaded like there's a lot of wild things that happen in the end that's probably why i made it a separate episode because i know the nord highlands needs to breathe because it's some stuff in this one this is probably the longest field study out of all of them in this game to be honest because i remember a lot of them uh, wasn't really that long some of the ones after this are not that long either i know the first one wasn't very long and man this is the first time i have to walk out of the station nobody escorted me out oh there won't be any need for that that's how you know we in the north highlands they won't even escort us out what gotta find our way no way sharon ha, ha, ha. that is weird well she took the bus how did you get here before us i took the bus uh the power of my love for you allows me to do the impossible, my lady. <laughs> oh, and as wait. you'll see, I prepared packed lunches for all of you that far surpass this morning's offer. You got here before us and got us some food? How in the... I do hope you'll enjoy them. Now, if you don't know in the context, the Nord Highlands is very far away. Like, picture, like, going from uh, the United States to, like, I don't know what would be far. To somewhere far in asia or something i don't um, know but it is thanks it's wild so i don't i don't know if she flew what, what happened here we really appreciate you going to all the trouble to make these for us true that said i'm really curious how you got here before us she had a private jet man it seems that the reinford family's maid enjoys a little amusement at the expense of her employer i imagine you transferred to an airship in the capital ah of course. Why didn't I think of that? You can cut the time from Heimdall to Ruhr in half if you travel by airship, I think. Well, we don't got airships. <laughs> you got me. I took advantage of the opportunity to borrow the airship's kitchen so I could make your lunches as well. The airship's They're kitchen? Quite fresh. So take a moment to savor the taste. She just taking airships? <laughs> well, thank you. Why ain't we rolling with the maid? What What we is really going on here? We do appreciate all you're doing for us. We just gonna take the airship. Honestly... I knew you had to be up to something. You're not planning on coming all the way to the Nord Highlands with us now, are you? I'd love to, but unfortunately, I have some other business. I must oh, this is to. a pit stop. This ain't the Nord Highlands. I yet. may not be able to return to Trista for a while either. Other business? Sharon will be assisting me with my work. Who is this? Mom, mom, mom. Dang, a mother show up too? Mother? Hello, Elisa. Ah. You all must be members of class seven. Arena Rainford. Irina. Oh, I said it wrong. Also the chairman of the Reinford group. It's a pleasure to meet you. The, the pleasure is ours. I'm Reen, Reen Schwarzer. Pleased to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. Gaius Warzel, Yusis Alborea. I'm glad you're all managing to get along with my obstinate daughter. Obstinate? I wish I could stay a while, but unfortunately I have work that can't wait. Come along, Sharon. Nah, she don't want to stay. She I said, wish, Madam Sk Chairman. skip these kids. What? They gone. Seriously? You show up like this and that's all you have to say? It's always work with you, isn't it? You probably didn't even notice I left home until I was already gone. Now it's just... Hello, Elisa, and that's it? I mean, she's probably a single mother. I mean, they got to work a lot. My lady. I did get the impression her relationship with her mother wasn't all sunshine and gumdrops. It's funny because she got to work and she, she helping her by doing it. So it's just a misunderstanding. Seems there's a lot of friction between them. What happened to they fought? You can live your life however you see fit. I have no intention of forcing the Reinford group on you. Even if you decide to follow a certain someone's path and cast aside all sense of responsibility it's your choice to make wow see she's not that bogus at all besides i still manage to keep myself informed of the general goings on in your academic life in the monthly reports i receive from the academy what i knew sharon would relay back information about me but reports from the academy itself Oh, you must not have known. <laughs> In addition to my other responsibilities, I also sit on the Academy's board of directors. Oh, another board of directors. I got y'all stats. Oh, my. That means... Just like Rufus. 
It does appear that way. I got y'all stats. I'd certainly deem the chairman of the Reinford Group a canny choice as a member of the board. Hmm. The Reinford Group is heavily involved in the development of the Orbal staff, as well as your Arcus. I must say, I'm quite pleased with the reports I've received on your usage. So she both. busy, but she be building the Arcus, and they need that for all their mechanics. So Alicia need to leave her mom alone. She getting to work, saving the, the whole setting. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of this month's field study as well. Do give me some good reading. You can't have the Cold Steel series of uh, mechanics without her. <laughs> like, that's a very important job. Now that I think about it, that's probably one of the Please most... Excuse us, my lady. That might be the Take most important job in this setting. Journey. She make the Arcus things. That's how they get their courts and they, uh, everything. Alisa. You alright? They'd be nothing without her. I don't know what's going on out here. Could they, we got to put this into perspective out here. Like, she building the Arcuses and the staff. So no healing without her. No no mages. So, <laughs> man, this is ridiculous. And we over here like, oh, it's all work with you. Like, oh, that work looked necessary. Hey, talk about making an impact. <laughs> the other jobs we be getting don't be making no impact. We just be out here doing something. But she actually out here making a real contribution out here. Man. Where her father at though? <laughs> Where Alicia's father? What's going on here? And you know she's super rich. She got a maid with an airship. And she got airships and glasses. That's how you know she's rich. But it, it, it it's ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, who is this train conductor talking to the kids? What? Hey, get out of here, buddy. Gotta go. Alright, so we got the train conductor up out of here. Man, go on, get you. We taking a long time to get to the North Highlands. Man, even in game, it's taking forever. Man, speed this up, turbo mode. Come on, turbo mode. Man, these kids just. Man, this is how the field trips be going. You be. Oh, what was that? Yeah, I saw something bogus out there. Was that the uh, Trails of Zero people? I don't know. I might have to go back and watch the video myself just to see what that was. But we here now. We there. Let's go. Let's take some suckers down. Uh oh. Eye patch me. Oh. Lieutenant General. That's the Lieutenant General. His eye. Lieutenant General Zex. Oh, man. Vander. Oh, Vander. So, um, let's get some context about the Vander. So, the Vanders are like a, a military, um, um, Basically guards, I guess. Like they're like they're like personal guards to like the royal family and everything. We found out about them in the Sky series. Um uh is his name Mueller Vander? He was he was playable at some point. And he ain't been playable since. We need to let us be Mueller Vander again. He was killing it. But he never get to be playable no more. But he was definitely one of the characters that they're probably referring to. Um that might be his dad right there. And the Vanders, they just big dudes. That got like giant weapons. Big old dudes. Uh oh, horses. We got horses now? Oh man. We got different color horses. That's funny. But anyway, okay, the girl's on the white horse. Guy's on uh, ring by himself on the brown horse. Gave me a map. Sucker put me on a horse and gave me a map. Oh no, this is definitely different than the other places. He say, hey, find your way. Here's a horse. This is worlds apart from the bustle of the city. Oh, they talk. It really is. I feel like I'm on with the wind. Oh, Indeed. wait, wait. They but move if it you didn't too go fast. too fast, that would be great. Man, I'm in turbo mode. I'm sure it will feel natural in time. Look at him go. No doubt the riding club would be fuming with envy if they could see us now. They fuming <laughs> with envy. I'll bet. <laughs> anyway, my home settlement is due northeast of here. It's gonna be all day. Hopefully, we'll be able to reach it before sundown. <laughs> oh no! Right. Go Let's horses! Go. Yeah! Go! Go! Yeah! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm tweaking. Hey, I was doing a playthrough with uh, Kingdom Hearts where I was fighting uh, Shane Yu from uh, Mulan, and every time I fought that guy, he just kept yeah. I was like, man, he gonna yeah every time we fight him. Oh man. 
Look, the Nora Highland is too big. Okay, let's get the map out. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Hey, we ain't supposed to be open world. <laughs> this is a JRPG. All right, let's go. <laughs> I think I'm just caught up in the moment. No, no, no. Get us out of here. This is some long grasslands. Oh, what? Y'all ain't got no dialogue. Y'all ain't talking. Okay, that's that's the Emperor's Tower over <laughs> there. I don't know what that is. Hey, Shang Yu might be in there. He coming to get us, man. He coming out of Kingdom Hearts to take us out in trails. I wish they would do a crossover with... I, I hope some game eventually do a crossover with the Trails of series. Like, like this series don't get no no recognition at all, man. It's just like, it's invisible. Like, and I'm not just saying that because I would like for people to watch almost play down. through. But in general, this Rose series don't settlement. get nothing, man. Pace, I would like people to watch other people's playthroughs or their stuff, too. Man. It's like we love this game, but we don't support this game. It, it is, <laughs> this is, this franchise is wild, man. And we can't support it sometimes too, cause when the games come out, sometimes we can't even get them day one. Like, I tried to get Trails of Reverie day one, and that was almost the hardest thing. It was harder to get that day one than to get the PS5. Like you couldn't get it digitally, and the stores were just sold out. So somebody playing these Trails of games, but they sure ain't watching no videos. It's hilarious. Uh oh, look at these kids go by. So if you're into trails, uh, support the other content creators videos because they, they make some trails of videos too. But I don't know, man. It's like, because most of the people that's into this series, you've seen the series. So it's not like it's spoiling you. I hope not. And some of the people that need to get in it probably need to be spoiled, man. Get them spoiled. And then on the latest game, they can jump in. Like, Cause these games be taking forever, man. Now I'm in New Game Plus. It's gonna go pretty quick for me, but for you, it's gonna take forever. You're gonna have to sit in Nord Highlands with uh, what, what's his name? With with Gaius's whole family, and it's gonna take forever, man. It's gonna it's gonna take forever. <laughs> Look at him. He got a scar on his nose, man. On his nosy nose, nose, and a beard on his chinny chin chin. Like like we. We in the North Highlands, man. He got a nice suit, though, man. Them North Highlands outfits be looking nice. So they got they got their cool uniform going. They all look like Gaius, too. All of them. Every single last one of them. So he got brothers and sisters. And I know they ain't as powerful as him. But I wouldn't even really call Gaius powerful, man. Gaius be sucking in the game. They tell us he's powerful in lore, but in, in practice, he's bogus, man. I don't... Well, I guess all these kids are powerful in lore, but but some of them suck in, in gameplay, like Usus. He's powerful in lore, but he sucks out here. And they did all the guys kind of dirty. Like, the only guy that's probably really good, other than Reen, who's the main character, is probably Machias in this game. And then we're going to keep seeing him get nerfed. Like, come on. Uh-oh. Where am I? Oh, right. Nord Highlands. The Nord Highlands. Let's go. It feels surprisingly energetic. Maybe it's the clean air or that great food we had yesterday. I wonder if Master Ka Fai trained out in the wilderness like this. You're up early, Reen. You trained in the wilderness. Morning, guys. Whoa. Hold on. Why are you dressed like that? That's his normal clothes. Oh, I was man. just helping put the sheep out to pasture. Why is this not a costume? Should have must be done fixing the morning meal now. Is it? Okay. I guess we should wake yeah, up. Yeah, we got costumes for these characters. I might put them in the costumes. Yes, sis. Lisa, Emma. Rise and shine, everyone. Mm -hmm. Where am I? <laughs> Are those sheep? Oh, so all three of them behind the curtain. <laughs> you guys. Okay, there I you suppose go. none of you are used to waking up quite this early. Okay, they're not talking no more. So Gaius talked a little bit for them not to talk no more. It's like his family never talks, man. But anyway, um, not in this game. They they ain't got no voice actors. Something's wrong. Because I don't remember them having a lick of dialogue. And, like, I feel like they should have said something. They didn't even introduce them, really. Like, they had no 
they didn't come back by their name. They did them dirty. So, so we got these characters. They probably got costumes in here. Like, I forgot how to do them, though. Equip, right? Is that how it goes down? Yeah, they got costumes in here. Like, Ring got the, uh, he got the something out here. What's the storage uniform? Yeah, he can lose his uh, shirt for it. But, I don't know. It's, it's not that big of a deal. And what's this uh, academy? No, not that. Uh, stage outfit. Lacrosse way. So, this is the lacrosse team. Yeah, they ain't really got too many costumes on this too much now that I think about it. Like, stage outfit. No, definitely not that. And here we got... Okay, he got his traditional dog. Why is this all she got? What's going on here? Man, this don't make no sense. Whatever, you keep that. Uh, I guess you just keep your normal thing because you didn't get costumes for some reason. What do you got, Usus? Usus pajamas. Oh, so they pajamas are like... Actually, okay, wait a minute. So let's see what yours is. So they pajamas is just actual like clothes or something. She don't have them, though. That's weird. Like, what's his pajamas? Okay, so that okay, that's not bad. We'll keep him. We'll keep him with that. So I need to at least give him like a good weapon or something. Like, what? yeah, let's give him his best weapon. I, I haven't even gave these guys their best weapons out here. So let's give them their best weapons. Well, some of them, some of them probably don't got their best weapons because I I probably didn't care. All right, good. Now they cooking. Now they cooking with some gas now. Oh, yeah, we got equipment on them too. Yeah, at least give Reen all his good stuff. That way Reen can out here outpace some people. Got the Medal of Dawn and all this other stuff out here, man. Hey, Reen gonna be a monster. We finally giving him some stuff. But as y'all can see, I got I got pretty much everything you could want in this game. Like, I got I got it all. I can, I can probably do anything out here. What's this evergreen? I don't know about that. It's something that boosts CC somewhere. Is it this? No, not the Gladiator. Salmon. Maybe it is this. Um, it was something that boosted my CC a lot. I don't know if it was that or... It was something, man. I don't remember what the best ones were no more. Because I used to know, but it's been so long. I don't forgot. I forgot it all. I know these medals look pretty good, though. They look they look pretty, pretty good indeed, actually. Let's give him a lot of accuracy so he don't miss. Um, what's that? Oh, that's the Evergreen. I know the Evergreen is good. Evergreen always been good. All right, cool. We'll give him that. Forget the rest of them. All right, let's go. I should just make him CC machine, man. Just give him all CC stuff. Okay, he can't be out here barefoot. <laughs> like, we got we to gotta change Ring back because he ain't got no shoes, man. I, I, I don't want Ring out here with no shoes, man. Ring need his regular Thor's outfit back on. He needs some shoes. Alright, so now where we going? Where we gotta go? Okay, so the settlement's doctor's home. Let's go to the doctor's home. Okay, you the settlement doctor? I am here to deliver. Deliver the kid. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm here to I'm here to take all your sheeps and take everything you got. I will avenge you. Alright. <laughs> I'm kind of bogus with that. All right, let's see. So now I got to go probably one of these places. Like I got No, I got to go outside the settlement. All right, let's go. Let's head this way first. Maybe I got to go this way first. Nope. Can't go that way. Maybe I got to go out this way. All my tasks are this way. Let's go. Look at it. We made it. We there. We made it. Oh, we back on the horse. Let's ride. Yeah. <laughs> we back on the horse. All right. Where we going? Though? Okay. They got checkpoints there, 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 there. And maybe over there. The, that's the watch. Oh, okay. So that's what we got to do. Okay. So we got to hit all these checkpoints. Yeah. And this is what I was talking about. This stuff right here is bogus, man. But let's hit I that first check. Monsters around. Where that Careful, check everyone. Okay. Checkpoint is here. Wait, wait. Horse, get there. Come on, horse. Oh, so he can't get it while. Okay. There you go. I say you better be able to get the horse. So we gotta get these 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 grass flowers. Yeah. Out of my way, guys. Yeah. All right. Let's. There's another grass flower. Let's get it. Yeah. Cool. Oh no no. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, Reen. Pick it up. All right. Reen on the horse. Whoa. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, oh treasure. Treasure chest. This treasure chest. Uh oh, a bat. Whoa, that sucker huge. All right. Wait. All right, go ahead and do the do do the super special, cause that's a big. Cool, and he gone too. Get that. It's my turn. Get him. Yeah. Right, finish the. Man, you can't even hit these. Guys. It's my turn. Get that guy. Right. Woo. Okay, <laughs> cool. Okay? So they getting them. Right. Oh, that's a good one too. Shiz Suzuka? That's that's a good one. Yeah. Like, if you know, you know. That's a good one. Uh. Okay, so they... Oh, they on the horse together. I don't know why they on the horse together. Okay, and now here's... Oh, you can swap them on the horse, which is weird. Gaius! Yeah. This is his town. Gaius is on the horse. All right. Now, where's... Uh, where we got going now? Oh, okay, let's head this way. We shall be Gaius in his traditional garb today. Let's ride. Yeah! Oh, I know why I don't have the costumes. I think I got to select them in the DLC. Let me go ahead and do that. Because I know they're supposed to have better costumes than this. And I know I should have them. So I'm going to go to system. Uh, options? No, not, not options. What am I going to go to? Wait a minute. I want them costumes. Where they at? Okay, so wait. I'm going to go to uh, system. Nah, where did I go? Items, items. DLC. Okay, cool. So everybody has this. Because this DLC should be free. So, they need their outfits, man. They can't be out here without their outfits. It's something else you get in this DLC, too. So, as long as you guys got this game on the PS4, you will have all this DLC. It comes with it automatically. The PSP version, which if you got that original one, that one don't have it. So, that won't be so great. And the rest of it, I guess, it doesn't really matter too much. I guess we can get these. Like, these are pretty decent. But, um, a lot of that don't really matter. Uh, it, it's... If you need it, it can help you, but I don't care. Um, let's see. Now now they got their costumes now. Now Ring got some options out here. All right. The casual clothes. There we go. That's what we wanted. Okay, what's your casual clothes? Okay, you might as well keep the lacrosse thing because I don't know what that was. All right, what's your casuals? Yeah, the casuals are... Okay, her casuals are weird. She might as well just stay with that. Nah, keep it with that. What's your casuals, guys? Oh man, look at Gaius' casuals. Oh. Okay, he keeping his casuals. Oh man. The dudes are slick. Look at this. So the guys got some good casual clothes, but the girls, they casuals are like, look at this. Trash. Man. I mean, I guess this is alright. Yeah, this is alright. It's weird, but it's alright. Uh, get back on the horse. Alright, so now let's get that tread chest, man. No tread chest left behind. They starting to get good now. Oh, man. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, man. Get these suckers. Yeah. Oh, they ain't dead? Right. Y'all ain't dying on them? Y'all just powerful turn. now. They're powerful <laughs> beyond their wildest years. Yeah. yeah. My record is 49 wins and 3 losses. Yeah. That's higher than Kakashi's record. <laughs> That's a bad Naruto to... reference. Like Guy Sensei is this one of the funniest characters the stone circle you saw yesterday. Alright. Yeah. So yeah, this just a yeah, I mean this this section ain't bad. This is in some ways you can say that this section is kind of therapeutic yeah. in some kind of ways. I wouldn't go that far. Stay. Like uh it could be yeah. boy. It, what the uh oh. They got they summoning over there. Now nah, that might be the case. Um they're they in in the Sky Games, I think they allude that something happened here. Something went down here. Now, I can't remember exactly what went down here, but something went down here. And it happened a while ago. And the Sky Games take place, like, what, two or three years before this? Or something like that. So, it... Something went down here three years ago. And I don't know if Gaius know about it, remember it, or what. Because he was a kid, obviously. But, who knows? I mean, he, he ain't that old here, but... I, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? But it's some stuff to it. It's some stuff to it. Alright, let's get up out of here. Yeah! So yeah, that's, this is why I didn't do the episode with the last episode. Because as you guys can see, I'm on a horse just roaming. And it and man, it take a while to get to these, these end sections too on this horse. Like this horse ain't going quick. This horse is taking its sweet time. 
And like, look, look, they got things over there and over there. Yeah. Man. No what happens. It's brutal. Okay, so we're gonna hit that spot over there, and then that spot, and then we're gonna move back around. So let's just head this way. Just to and where we going again? Okay, yeah, let's just head this way. Just to get all the way to the edge and then come back around. So yeah, this was kind of weird. This is kind of like filler space, but I guess now would be a good time to talk about the, the series and everything and what my plans are for it. So I'm going to make other videos about this series because this series has been too underrated for too long. And I'm getting that pushed into the algorithm, man. We about to hear about some trail stuff. People have been trying, though. They've been, they've been trying trails, but they can't stick with it because, I mean, we don't get enough yeah. games and most of the people don't want to hear the spoilers, so... It's only so much we can really do with this series, but we're going to yeah. get it there. We're going we gonna to try and support the other people in the community that, that does Trails content because, trust me, they'll, they'll stay on it more if, if people are watching it, but nobody watching it. So what they going to do? They just going to be doomed? But it's all good. Only watch it if you enjoy it, though. If you don't enjoy it, if it's not your cup of tea, then, you know, it's not your cup of tea. But I will yeah. say one thing, though. Try to get through the first game. Like, if you can get through first Cold Steel, you probably gonna like the rest of it. Oh, that's all I need to get. Okay. So I didn't need to get all of that. Okay. I wish I had paid attention to that. Okay. Cool. So we gonna head to this other place, and that should conclude all this stuff. Cool. This ain't going too bad. We, we making pretty okay time, I guess. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't know. But I will say one thing, since our equipment is good, well, Green's equipment is good. We shouldn't have too much trouble progress. So some of the longevity and length of this well, will be truncated because we, we just ready for yeah. everything. Let's Still go. Meet with the Lieutenant General. Okay, wait, get off the horse, man. Wait, no. Let Green go see him. It's my, it's my Where's my turn. Oh, he good. Cool. Let's go. Go Gaius. Yeah. Alright, so Gaius is uh where we going, Gaius? Oh, guys, we can't get over there. Okay. Where we going? What y'all want from us here? Okay, wait, 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 wait. okay, all the way over here. Leave me alone. Move, you. <laughs> Move, y'all. Oh, there you go. The Vanda. Daddy Vander. He's the dad of all Vanders. Well, I hope he's not the dad of all Vanders. That means that sucker is going to be... Man, it's going to be rough for him if he's the dad of all Vanders. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. My phone keep going out of sync. What's going on here? It's all right. Everything will be okay. All right, I did it. Wait, did I do it? You will find the monster. Oh, he want me to fight a monster at the gate. Oh. Vanda out here sending me on a mission. All right, Vanda. I got that monster. I'm going to take that sucker out. Taking him down. Let's go. Get on my horse. Let us Let's ride. On. ride. Yeah. Let me ride. All right. Okay, cool. Let's, uh. Okay, where the monster at? Maybe it's in the Imperial Watchtower. Where did he say that monster was again? There's the Imperial Watchtower. Maybe it's over there. Yeah, it can't be in the settlement. So let's go into the Imperial Watchtower. And look like it's daytime now. What's happening here? Did, did it get earlier? This looks a lot brighter than it did when I got in there. And I don't know if my eyes are just playing tricks on me or what, but it looks like the time zone that changed or something. Something's not quite right here. All right, let's see. Oh, there it is. The monster is right here. It's blurring. It's blurring out. But I see it. Well, I don't see it, but it's, it's somewhere over here. It's that one. It's that shark tail. Shark it off. All right, let's get the shark. Be careful, this one My looks turn. strong. Care about this one? All right. Do the special, All right. All right. Guys, you get it out there with your special, too. Yeah. That special looks so cool. And it's pretty decent, too, text. actually. Yeah, his special was never his issue. His special attack is pretty good, from what I'm seeing.
Okay, good. They thank goodness they teleported me back. Oh, he gave me speed breaker. Speed breaker is good. Like they they're giving us some good stuff out here, man. Like if you wanna like with us being on this high level and with all the equipment we got, oh man, we we gonna be taking suckers down. Now, again, right now I'm not gonna equip all this. Wait, get on the horse. Get that horse. Let us ride on. Let's ride. All right, so we gotta ride all the way back. That kind of sucks though. Like we gotta get all the way back to the settlement. That's kind of bogus. Like I don't know what they were thinking with that, but it would be nice to teleport me back to the settlement, right? But no, I gotta, I gotta get on the horse and get all the way back. Okay, let's take out this guy. That way we can um. Get some uh, stuff built. Up yeah, like these characters need some uh, yeah. some stuff built. Nicely done, Because like they need their CC all yeah. the way up for when it's time to like deal with the uh, the stuff. All right, let's see. Um, okay, we almost there. We getting there. We on the road to Viridian City out here, but we getting there. Oh yeah, I got, I got some. I guess now would be a good time to be talking about the ongoing series. Like, leave it to me. I'm trying to play them. It's like sometimes I'll just get fatigued playing some of these games, and it's, it's, it's not new to me. Like I've always been fatigued playing some games. Some games go longer than I would think they would should go, and then I'll just get tired. But we're gonna finish them on this channel though. Because I do want to talk about a lot of these games and like make some content for like guides and stuff on it. But the way I do things is I played it. You can believe me all you want. But if you don't see it, then it's like I didn't. Play. So I try to my best to at least capture most of this stuff on camera so you can see it. Now, it could be kind of unnecessary. But I don't know. I think it... I think it makes it more credible. Like, I'm just talking about the games, but y'all ain't never seen me play them. It's kind of weird to me. So I try to at least, you know, play the games and not just, you know, talk about them, but not play them. Like, it just seems bogus to me. Okay, so that's done. Okay, give me the scent. That's a good one, too. Like, yeah, they're giving out good stuff now in this game. So when you get to the Nord Highlands, if you were skipping items and things before, don't skip them here. This is where they start giving you actual useful things. Stuff I was using well into the end game. Like that, the Suzuka, the um, whatever else they gave me, I was using all of that. So that stuff is useful. It's useless. No, it's useful. All right, so, oh, he handing us more tasks? We got afternoon tasks. What kind of nonsense is this? This sucker got you working from sun up to sun down. Hey, that's Gaius' dad right there. He said, you better get out there. All right, anyway, uh, let's go over here and check it with the elder to see what we got to do out here. Yeah, Gaius' is dad, like, oh, y'all go work, kids. Got time for this. Here's another task. I'm like, you ain't got nothing but tasks. We ain't doing your side quest task. We gonna talk to this old monk that's sitting right there. He's wise beyond his wildest years. He don't even know why he's in this game, though. All right, so where we gotta go? Okay, wait, there's a bunch of those things. Question marks popping up. All right, so let's check the thing to see what that quest entails. Uh, okay, so, um, okay, Elden Ivan, okay. All right, the Elder believes the Norton likely went to get a closer look at the statue in the Northern Highlands. Okay, so statue in the Northern Highlands. Is that north or south? Let's see here. Oh man, I keep forgetting how to get the map up. Okay, let's try the north. Maybe it's the north, I don't know. Maybe it's the south, I don't know. Let's see. I guess it is. Right place then. All right, so let's head to the um, place where he wants to get a look. Cause we have to do this to achieve our final destiny. Oh, there's that statue. That statue look bootleg, man. Like, he tilting off the thing. Now, I think that statue is also a reference to something that went down in Sky. Let us ride on. Again. Okay, let's... Nah, not the two girls. They look so weird on that thing. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and... uh. There's we, we're just going to have to be guys for this. Uh, let's see. Yeah. It's yeah they look too here awkward the Southern Highlands. Let's go! Yeah! 
Besides, don't they not let you be Gaius too much? Like, yeah. we Gaius now, and are we ever going to be Gaius again on these field trips? Like, I'm going to see if we do, because I, I think Gaius get to be on these the less, and I'm pretty sure Alicia gets to be on them the most, which is also fun. Like, and I don't know about Emma. I don't know if we just don't see her for a minute. I don't really know what they were thinking with this. Way to where that giant statue is. And we saw Ellie at the beginning, the and he just disappears. <laughs> so it's like, to get right in front of man. It, we'll need to go around the cliff. It's like we always see some of the same culprits. Like we can only see Elliot when Laura there for some reason. Yeah. And I don't know. It's just funny. Come on, let's go. All right, there's the statue. And. I now, what was this statue supposed to be? There's a term that will come up in the Cold Steel, and I don't want y'all being too confused. And I think that term was a Septirian or something. And and I don't really fully know what a Septirian is. And I think you know more about that if you play, like, the Azure and Zero game and uh, Sky game and you pay attention. But they will throw out these terms, Septirians, in this game later. Not in this game, but I think in the games that are coming later and you just won't really know unless you know now i don't know why his heart hurt but but that statue might not be the septarian that might be uh something else that's not septarian okay what y'all want me to do what do you want gather north and back to the settlement will cause the story to advance yeah let, let that story advance I want that story to advance. Got him back. Let it advance. Man, why he behind me? Put him on the horse with Gaius. I don't want him. Okay, so we brought this guy back to the North Highlands. I don't know why we brought him to the North Highlands. So, the North Highlands is also being foreshadowed to be, um, people want this settlement. Like, I don't know why they want this settlement. I think there's like some spiritual power or some machine power hidden here. There's reasons, but apparently the North Highland is very like uh, critical to the setting in terms of secret ancient power, some kind of way. And so a lot of people that want power tries to take over the North Highland. And they're going to do it in one fell swoop at some point. Like, they've been trying for a long time. They might have tried all the way up in the Sky game. So, it's interesting to see how that's going to develop. And, like, what are we going to do with that now? Okay, wait, wait. Where are we going? Where y'all want us to go? Let me see here. Oh, we did it. Okay, so we, we can report back yeah. to the dad then. We done. There's nothing else we can do. All right, so let's report back. Let's, uh, where is that dad? Wars are home. Okay, let's go to the wars are home. Cause we should be done. Like, it, it says we're done. Unless I have to complete some of these side tests now. So they're not side tests. Because I have to do them. Wow. They're funny for that. But these are mandatory side quests, dude. Let's do the mandatory side quests. Um, how do I get over there? Okay, can't do it that way. Oh, man, I guess... What? Wait a minute here. Okay, wait. It's not. It's like I can't walk over there. Okay, let's go around it and get over here. And I don't know what was going on right there. Okay, well they're gonna force us to do some sad quests, I see. So let's just accept them and get them out of the way. Cause these are not optional right now. They're like you gotta do them. Okay, so what's this? Just talking to the kids? So we just gonna talk to the kids. Hey kids, stay in school. <laughs> and we done, we done talking to these kids. These kids like, where the school at? We in the North Highlands, we ain't got no school. Uh oh, what I tell them? How long was the train journey here? I don't know, was it eight hours? Am I still lying? No, okay. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention to that. Uh oh, 100 people? No, no, 300 people? Oh uh, man, 800 people? Give them 800 people. I don't know what to tell these kids. Y'all got Reen trying to teach y'all, but Reen don't know nothing. Reen teaching the kids? Who knows we gonna teach them? 220. 
Oh, that was right? Okay. Was it? I guess it was. It, 220 just sounded right, guys. I guessed. I, I, 220 sounded like a right now. <laughs> so I'm like, and I'm pretty good at guessing numbers when I want to. But, um, hey, that is what it is. We guessing numbers out here. So we still teaching these kids? The bonds of... I guess prize of one lineage. That's what the nobles care about, right? Now we telling the kids about the nobles. We shouldn't be doing that. These kids gonna come in the real world and they gonna meet a guy like Patrick. And Patrick just gonna be a jerk. He gonna sound like Vexen. And he gonna act like Vexen. And he gonna be a jerk every step of the way. Like it's all funny games until you meet a guy like Patrick in real life. It ain't funny no more. Okay, so I gotta go to the trading post then too. And, and that thing over there. Like It's something happening over here too, man. Like, this guy just watching his sheep go by. Like, we gotta fix his sheep too, man. Like, his sheep need help. Like, I'm tired of his sheep. Now, what am I supposed to do with his sheep? I got sheep on my team? What am I doing with them? What? What do I have to do with the sheep, man? The sheep is on my team. What? Sorry, but I need to fix this first. I'll leave the sheep to you guys. What do you mean you'll leave the sheep to me? Like, please make this make some sense, man. Okay, what I probably got to do is probably got to head to the south, man. Like, maybe I just got to head to the south. Maybe I don't got to do none of these. Let's see here. Okay, a sheep is there. Okay, a sheep is also there. But I don't care about his sheep. Okay, let's head over here. Like, maybe I just got to head somewhere else that's not ending the day like maybe the day in north highlands is oh wait here's that can i stop me okay maybe the day has ended already and i gotta like report somewhere over here or something yeah i gotta go over here highlands lake there we go so i don't have to do yeah. sad quest and i'm not going to his sheep gonna be missing skip his sheep now, anyway, let's go ahead and let's proceed. Yeah! Almost had me doing sad quests. How dare this game try to yeah. trick me into doing sad quests as a mandatory mission? I won't stand for it. I will head to the Nord Highlands and I will complete this chapter. Now, a lot of dialogue is going to happen after this ch chapter. And I'm probably going to let most of that dialogue ride, too. Because I think at this point... It'll probably be best for me to start off these videos at the field study and then have the kids, you know, do kid things after that. That way they get to talk. But let's deal with this. Guy. This one looks dangerous. Go. Be careful. Man, skip this guy. Look like he's gonna get beat. That's what he looks like. Go. Okay. Leave it to me. Go. It's my turn. Okay, that, 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 didn't, that thing didn't take long. Yeah. Alright, cool. Steady. So that wasn't bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll get one of his sheep while we're here. Let's save one of these sheep. That sheep just... Alright, that's the only sheep we saved, it, man. Steady. We're gonna save all your sheep. Now let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's go to this, this area, the lake. Let's get to the lake. Yeah, the North Highlands is, is long though, man. This is this is this is a beautiful place, but it's long, man. It's long, long level, too long, too long of a level. When we made the North Highlands, we about to say we about to make the long level we got, the longest level we got of the longest. How beautiful! Yeah, breathtaking. I like how they said it. That's funny. Hey, where we going though? We just here. We just here for no reason. I guess I might as well head back there. I don't need to be here. Like, here's somebody's house. Like, somebody's cabin, they call it. A cabin. Knock on the door. We are the repo team. Let's come and take your pipe out of your hand, and there's nothing you can do. Oh, are they talking? No, they ain't talking. A oh, granddad here? There's a lot of stuff happening for Alicia in this, in this level. Like, Y'all supposed to be doing stuff for guys. Why are we trickling Alicia stuff here? 
And, and this goes back to what I told you guys before, is that um, Alicia was supposed to be the main character of this game. And if you pay attention to all the stuff that's happening, you can kind of see it too. Like, it's almost like there's more links to her in the plot line and the storyline than there are for Ring. And if that's the case, why is, is Ring the main character? Like, he's, he's not supposed to be. But whatever. So, now, people will also say that makes her the canon love interest, if that's, if that's the case. Which I guess I can see that. That makes sense. But, I don't know. What's going on here? All right, anyway, they want me to go fishing now, I think. I don't know if I'm going to catch anything, though. All right, man, we, we just... Man, guys, this level take forever, man. We just... We, we back on the horses. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, we ride an old man back. Now we, we back on the horses. Got grandfathers out here on horses. We back. Yeah! We going. We going to make it, for sure. For sure, we gonna make it. Get on up. Get on out. Get on up. Get on out. Man, why we remembering that? Get on up. Get on out. That grandfather weird. Look at them horses hey, go. Isn't that? Uh oh. Ooh, it's those military academy students. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. We have characters with funny voices. Oh well. Looks like things are gonna start getting interesting. <laughs> okay, let's get this mission started. What is that? Sheesh. Gramps and the others can be so unreasonable sometimes. Like somebody needs to explain to me what it, what what is that? Like somebody tell me what is this? <laughs> like what in the blazes is that? It ain't right. It ain't right. There's no justice in whatever that is. It's time to have a nice home-cooked meal. As we sit here and feast on the flesh of the monsters in the open field in North Highlands. Because how are we getting and producing this meat? And as we eat our canned yams and crack open a cold pepsi <laughs> we shall feast on the remains of the monsters that we take out they gave me a spear one day so i may catch my food and i've been using that spear to take on enemies <sighs> uh oh i'm such an idiot yes what am i are. even doing man that's a long story oh uh. Alisa? Ring love a oh, good backstory. Well, Got another what are you doing out here? I need Did another. My mouth says no, but my stomach's thinking yes. What, Ring? What? The? You doing okay? You seem a bit unsteady there. Okay, that was a weird thing to say. Nothing like that. I'm just feeling a little out of it. Feeling a little bit out of it. I'm just going to stay out here for a while and get some... <laughs> Sorry about that. What just happened there? Okay, let's take that turbo See? board off. What did I tell you? We've been riding all day. I'm not surprised you're feeling tired. Riding a horse really takes it out of you. I guess you're right. Why didn't that occur to me before? Hey, Elisa, look up at the sky. Huh? Oh, wow. You know, I didn't even notice it last night because we turned in so early. But it looks like a, a static painting. Like we put that up on the wall, and that's all we got. here to get some air. Better to take in the starlight than look at the ground. The right? starlight. You're right. You're wrong. You're wrong, sir. You're wrong. Smoke and trees. Turbo mode. My father was a technician. Eight years ago, he passed away. Oh, okay, that's what he died. Okay. He was working on some machines and died. Just like the dad from Good Times. My family was never really the same after that. No, after the dad died, I think the family won't be the same. Mother was director of the company back then. She focused all of her energy on making the Reinford group even bigger. Yeah, she was uh grieving. 
She used to treasure our family, but after that, it's like she could barely spare a thought for us. She can't. Like, it's touch and go now. Dad, dad. He suddenly died. Oh. She did seem like a talented businesswoman when we met her. Well, more than talented to run the Rhinefruit group. What you saw in Ruber Station was just a watered-down version of her normal intensity. We'd be able to have dinner together maybe once every three months, and that's being generous. Watered down, huh? But at least I wasn't alone. Grandfather and Sharon were always there for me. That's how it was, huh? I guess you've known Sharon for a long time then. Yeah, my mother hired her about seven years ago. Being a Reinford and all, I never had many people I could really call friends when I was young. The nobles looked oh. down on me, of course, but the common people treated me like I was different from them, too. At least with my grandfather and Sharon around, I never felt totally alone. Grandfather introduced me to all kinds of different hobbies, like horseback riding and playing the violin. So wait, you play the violin? Sharon taught me self-defense and archery, and all the high society etiquette expected of a lady. Meanwhile, my mother kept expanding the company completely against the wishes of my grandfather, the chairman. I see. Though, hasn't Reinford always been a big industrial company? Kind of, yeah. Even back then, they took on projects in all fields, from steel mills to railway construction to guns and tanks. It's not surprising there are people out there who like to call the company a merchant of death. I can't say I completely agree with that side of the company, but I've never felt embarrassed or ashamed about it. But a few years ago, the Reinford Group finally went too far. What do you mean? Those two railway guns set up in Gorelia Fortress on the eastern edge of the Empire? You know about those, right? Yeah, I've heard of them. They're supposed to have the longest range of any orbital cannon in the world. A mil military tanks? I've only seen their spec sheets, but the destruction they're capable of is terrifying. Erebonia's still fighting you got the, the spec sheets. over Crossbell, and those guns are capable of targeting any point in Crossbell's state. They always trying to get Crossbell. <laughs> hey, if you play the Zebro and Azure games, you're going to see they're going to keep coming for Crossbell. Everybody wanted to take out Crossbell. I don't even really know why they want to take out Crossbell too much. I might have to play those games a little bit more to understand it. In just a couple hours, they could wipe Crossbell City and its 500,000 citizens off the But map. it's not just Crossbell. It's like in this series, they want to take out the North Highlands and Crossbell all day. And it's hilarious. No way. That's way beyond being a weapon of war. More like an instrument of massacre. Now, I can't tell you why. <laughs> I can never tell you why. I'm guessing it has something to do with those Septarians. I think they want those. Look at it like Naruto. You got the tail beasts, and it's like they taking those places out because the tail beasts are in there. I couldn't agree more. And neither could my grandfather, who supervised their construction. Even though my mother was the one who signed off on the project, my grandfather regretted it like the decision was his. As he was hesitating over whether to hand them over to the Imperial Army, my mother betrayed him. What? She went behind his back and secured the support of all of Reinford's major shareholders. Everyone from Ruber's ruling Lord Marquis Rogner to the top brass of the Imperial Army was on her side. In the face of such overwhelming pressure from all sides, my grandfather was forced to capitulate. He stepped down as chairman, and my mother wasted no time taking his place. <sighs> That's when my grandfather decided to leave the company entirely. I thought I'd at least have Sharon on my side, but it's been five years since then already. Oh. I think I get it now. Why she gets under your skin, I mean. It's not so much what your mother did, but how it ended up tearing your family apart. Yeah. I couldn't believe my mother would betray her own father. I couldn't believe grandfather would take it without fighting back. I couldn't believe Sharon, who'd always so wanted me, watched it all happen without a word of protest. It's a long backstory. It really man. drove it home to me. Goodness. How big the Reinford group was now. I hated realizing it had become so large that corporate interests were stronger than family ties. Looking back, I guess that's when I decided I'd leave home and enroll in the academy. <laughs> back Even when I ran, school. I couldn't go far enough to escape my mother's shadow. Then I come here and find my grandfather happily enjoying a whole new life without a care in the world. Oh, that grandfather funny. When I stepped outside, I was feeling so lost, so frustrated. That grandfather on retirement. What I've been doing all this time. 
that grandfather on retirement he done working he he didn't pay his dues he made a successful i don't know if he the the grandfather of the mother or the father i don't know but his kids were successful and that sucker probably was helping too so he ready to rest he's like oh the dad dead um he's like oh well alicia's good she going to school now you rich you got a maid i'm out here fishing on the on the north highlands i don't care can't even blame him but it's kind of strange you know i look up at the stars and it feels like i can escape the gravity of everything i think i'm finally starting to understand i'm starting to understand why my grandfather chose to leave it all behind and move out here in the first place <laughs> you really are strong Alexa. Huh. <laughs> stronger than <laughs> they hands look so funny you were finally ready to talk about it about your family and the company and everything so maybe you've found what you were looking for to move past that. <laughs> maybe you're right, but I don't think I would have been able to if I hadn't enrolled at the academy. Meeting everyone in class seven, the lacrosse club, you. Oh yeah, she's still in the lacrosse club. Alpha. Your support has already made a difference. So, thanks. Thanks for worrying. You're not about welcome. Me. <laughs> Anytime, though. Truth be told, I came to check on you because Emma asked me to. Sorry to ruin the moment. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Oh well, there's always next time. It's kind of strange to hear you tell me I'm strong, because I could say the same thing about you. You always seem to get thrust into the role of leader. Someone we can count on to keep us on track. <laughs> I guess running errands on all my free days is really helping me buckle down. Still, I feel like I've got a long way to go, especially when I keep running from myself. Huh? Remember back in Keldic? I said that I came to the Academy to find myself. But sometimes, I wonder if maybe I just wanted to get away from my family, from myself. Oh, do you not get along well with your family? Oh, I do. I'm not their real son, but my parents always loved me like I was. My sister and I, we've had our differences, especially lately, but we still get along pretty well. No, the problem's just with me. Reen. <sighs> still, I suppose the fact you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd have the chance to feed you your own good advice so soon? I can't believe you can just say things like that with a straight face. Maybe being on the receiving end every now and then will do you some good. No, his stuff is way more complicated. <laughs> All right, you got me. I admit defeat. But yeah, I guess I'm starting to figure things out in my own way. Maybe enrolling at Thoris was the first thing I'd done right in a long time. I ended up in class seven. And now all of us are out here like this, spending time together. Yeah, I like that. I hope the things we learn during our field studies can help us all make a difference in the world. So, wait, all of us? <coughs> there they go. <laughs> you two were gone so long that we started to get a little worried. N no way! How long have you been listening? Still, I suppose the fact that you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? S Stop! <laughs> Green, he was the one who said it first. I was just re repeating it back to him. Oh, Elisa, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Honestly, you touched my heart. I apologize for eavesdropping on you, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad I did. <laughs> wow, I'm glad I eavesdropped. How did I end up in the middle of this anyway? Fine, if that's how you want to play it, none of you are getting any sleep until you've shared all your most embarrassing secrets. Actually, those three students might be the most mature ones. I know Emma and Gaius are very mature. Like, what? they're like, eh. I, I don't. <laughs> you wish. Seems like you did well. Honestly, I feel like she helped me more than I helped her. Hey, Gaius? Hmm? This is a really beautiful place. Yeah, ain't it? <laughs> that's that's the end of day dialogue, Ooh, you're ain't up it? In the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Yeah, I didn't do his sheep quest. I was like, nope. Keep no up sheep. the good work. 
no sheep. All right, so we got one more day in Nord Highlands, and I think we're going to get started. All right, turbo mode. Hope you guys have been enjoying the cutscenes. Like, that was a long one. That one ran for a long time. Guess they had to get her backstory. Uh-oh. Whoa, wait a minute. Fire and oh, oh. Man, how we getting that and then this is happening? Uh-oh. Whoa. <laughs> they taking them suckers down today. Oh, man. <laughs> they want us to save. No, we continue. Wow, they taking those suckers down today. The Nord Highlands. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. <laughs> they getting them. Wow. We got backstories and then that happened. Hey, this series is funny. Sometimes it'll be a good moment and then that. Uh oh, what? we just got this? What's that? Okay, that ain't even really no quest right there. I think I know why, though. This story about to turn up. The old guys are here. Look, guys. Before y'all do y'all tasks, we got an emergency. We just got shot down. Look, it's airships. It's Sharon doing it. She's attacking them. <laughs> Republican Army 8th area. Man, what? Wow. We need some of those. Like, how are we going to fight those without those? Like, it would suck to be a kid up in here with us. Oh, Vander on a horse. Vander's on a horse. To freedom to take them out. All right, guys. We about to take those suckers down. Let's shut them down. Okay, where we going? Okay, we got that old guy on us. Okay, what way is it? Is it this way? I don't know what way. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. Yeah! Let's go run into the missiles. The missiles. The missiles. You can say missiles or you can say Let's get going. In the yeah. seals. The Navy seals. All right, let's go. Um, no, the Navy seals are not imbeciles. Um, let's go ahead and um, yeah, we'll, we'll get ring for this, I guess. And we'll let them get on the horse because they ain't got to ride the horse. You know, that sounds weird. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go figure out why them builders are getting shot down in the prime of life. Let's go ahead and... Is that the right one? Where we going? Oh, we got to go with the... Yeah! Yeah! I still remember that uh, Shang Yu from Mulan. He just kept saying, yeah! So much. Like, so much. He was... Never That's one of the Imperial I Army's I... airships. The guy was always... Yeah! This situation is looking worse by the minute. We need to hurry. Let's go. That enemy type always good. Let's do it. The airships. The air base. Let's go. All right. So we're going to take out these jokers. Nice and, you know, simple. And the joker shall not stay. They shall be beat down. And we shall give them no port. No way, we say. No way. Come on. Let them get beat. Let them be beat. Let them be defeated. Let them have no way where creepy stuff happened to no way. Thank you, Let really. Them I go. appreciate it more than you know. It's no big deal, honestly. Yeah! I agree with Elisa. We're classmates, after all. We're classmates. More than that, we're friends. Well, we're this friends. is clearly of great importance to you. I know you want to protect your people, but that's not the only reason you're doing this, is My it? My people? You got me. It ties back into why I accepted the Lieutenant General's recommendation. Not the best. And I'm sure each of you feels the same about your own homes, but I love this land with all my heart. The wind racing across the highlands, the vast mountain peaks, I the blue of the yeah. sky, the breathtaking beauty of the rising sun, the melancholy of the sunset, the twinkling of the stars in the twilight. I love everything about this land of Nord. It's part of who I am. <laughs> 
guess it hadn't sunk in how much Nord means to you. I'm certainly attached to Ruer, but... I can't think of anyone else who would state their love for their homeland so poetically. If you love it so much, why did you leave it behind? If you truly love Nord, if Nord is such a part of you, what is it that drove you to enroll in a military academy in a foreign land so far away? <laughs> I'm not surprised you'd find it strange. To be honest, I'm still not totally sure what you helped me to do it. Back when I was a kid, the Republican Army built a base in the Eastern Plain, and the Imperial Army responded in kind when the Watchtower. It's made me more uneasy with every passing year. Years ago, a traveling priest from the Septian Church taught me all about the history of the continent. One thing that stood out to me was just how many lives had been lost during the conflicts between the major powers. Another major theme was just how profound of an impact the Orville Revolution had on people's lives. Even the concepts of time and distance have changed so much. It made me realize a sad truth, one that kind of scares me even now. That there was no guarantee my homeland could stay at peace forever. That one day, it might be drawn into outsiders' conflicts and be occupied and redistricted into oblivion. I can't believe you were thinking about such weighty things even as a kid. So then, you joined the Academy in order to learn more about the outside world that posed a threat to your homeland? Yeah, something along those lines. When I realized how afraid I was, I knew I couldn't close my eyes. I wanted to do something, anything, to protect this land. As luck would have it, I met the Lieutenant General. He's the one who told me about Thor's military academy. One thing led to another, he offered me a recommendation. And before I knew it, I took him up on his offer. Oh, letter of recommendation. So there I was, green as grass, heading off to study abroad despite having no clue what life in the Empire was like. Thinking back on how it all came together, what you said is probably what I was thinking back then. Honestly, I have yet to hear a student offer a more galvanizing reason than yours for enrolling at the Academy. <laughs> I have to agree. I don't know too many people who love their home so much that they leave it behind to find a way to protect it. It's not a sentiment I can imagine many Erebonians feeling, that's for sure. But I think I finally understand. Lisa? Well, just an idle thought. But having heard Gaius pour his heart out to us, there's no way we can just walk away from this. Not after the people of Nord gave us such a warm welcome and treated us like family. Indeed, I couldn't have asked for more. Agreed. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here and stop Ward from breaking out. Nord may not be our home, but it's still an important neighbor. I'll do what I can to aid you. Thanks. Meanwhile, in the Tower of Pain. The Tower of Pain shall no remain. Alright, let's go. Let's get the general out of the way. Guard with a hat. Needs to be. Okay, so we gotta help the soldiers. Because the soldiers then got shot down in the prime of life. So it's, it's not good. Like, we need to leave these soldiers alone. They just trying to do their job, and we taking them out. We can't be doing that. These soldiers are veterans. These soldiers are here. These soldiers are here to help you, not go down in a burst of fury. Leave them alone. Leave them be. Don't hurt them. Don't take missiles towards them. It's terrible. But you know. Things be happening like that. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. I would hate to be a part of the Watchtower and then they just throwing missiles at you. That would be terrible. Yeah, I don't know what time it started. Guess it was 3 a.m. Huh? Not quite. Oh man, Ranger's getting it all wrong. Guess the first choice is never the right answer. Here. Are they gonna keep asking me until I get it right? Or are we just moving on? Okay, we moving on, thank goodness. Let's move on. 
Come on, guys. All right, cool. Back on the horses. Yeah. Yeah. So where are we going though? We on the horses, but where are we going? Yeah, North Highlands is crazy long. So where they want us to go? To the settlement or? Oh, we probably uh, let's go. Towards. We can't go that way. Yeah. Going towards where that whistle is coming. So let's find the whistle. Here we are. A cliff. A ledge. On the ledge, we may find our destinies. Your destiny is to lose. That's what Neji always said in one of those Naruto games. It was hilarious. My destiny is to lose. Uh-oh. Magic. We saw you. But everybody be doing magic in this game, though. So, I don't know why it's that big of a deal. But, um, maybe they only do it in gameplay. Maybe they're not doing it in the cutscenes. I don't know. It's weird. It's hard to know with these JRPG things. I remember I saw games where people were healing people in the cutscenes. But they, but only some people could do it in cutscenes and some people couldn't. But they got staff, so... I, don't all the staff people be able to heal you and stuff like that? I don't know. It's weird. All right, so now we just going back down. What? Oh. Ooh. Okay, so now what? Are we back on the horse? Oh, we following it. Okay. Go. We can't let them get away. Yeah. Right. We need to overtake them. They moving fast. Yeah. Crap, yeah, it's all the fast. Way Just don't lose sight of them. Oh. Yeah, maybe they're going up to the thing. Let's go that way. Yeah, there we go. We we were going the wrong way. Hopefully we can get there in time. I like the music that's playing right now. That's that. You gotta make it. The stone circle? Uh, there's oh, no escape oh, for them now. Are we going right away? Okay, I think. Yeah. Like I think I think they go up on this cliff with the hedge thing. I don't know why they go up. But they do. So right here is where we need to be. Where we ought to be. This was always such a weird thing to me. I never understood this. Yeah, but you ain't talking. Uh, I think that about covers everything. Talking now. Now, what to do? It'd be easy enough to overpower them, but there's a good chance some of them would get away. But just killing them all seems really cruel, too. Halt! Stay where you are! Ooh, it's the military academy students. She, she knows about us? How? Just who are you? And what's that thing beside you? So, who are you? Were you involved with the attacks on the Watchtower in the Republican Army's base? Of course she is. We'd rather not accuse you of a crime you didn't commit. But can you at least tell us who you are and what you're doing here? Gonna make things a bit sticky. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. Everything will go hunky dory if you guys help me out. What? What are you talking about? But first, I hope you won't mind if I give you a little test, just to be sure you're up to the challenge. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Oh, she's on That was easy. No? <laughs> hey. Whoa! 
Hey, that Those are pretty quick. tough. Yep, looks like you'll be great for the job, all right. Oh, yeah, you gone. <laughs> We've had quite enough of your wild chases and your games. You were the one who attacked both of those military facilities, weren't you? Oh, no, 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 that wasn't me. Ugh, what can I say to make you believe me? Just tell us what you can. Anything you know that might help us find out who was actually responsible. You said you wanted our help? If helping you would restore peace to the Highlands, we're ready to help out however we can. But you have to talk to us. Help us understand what's happening. My controller running low. Man, my controller's always running low. Battery life on these PS controllers aren't good. Come on, you two! I hope you don't come to regret your naivete. Uh, you said your name was Milliam, right? We really don't have much time. So could you tell us what it is you want our help with? Hmm. Well, what I want you to help me with is capturing the small armed group responsible for attacking the Watchtower and the Republican Army's base. <sighs> what did you just say? You saw those mortars earlier, right? There's a bunch more hidden near the Republican Army's base. I'm guessing it was the same group that set them up at both locations. W wait Do you have any idea who this armed group might be? Mm, well, I'm not a hundred percent sure or anything. But they look like a bunch of Jaeger dropouts, so I'm guessing they're working for a pretty meaty chunk of Mira. I was on my way to go find out for sure. Wait, then... You know where they are? Sure do. They're up in the north of the Highlands. If you promise to help me out, I'd be happy to show you the way. So, how about it? All right. You have our aid. I'm Reen Schwarzer, Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Gaius Warzel. I'm Elisa Reinford. It's, um... Nice to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yusus Alborea. And just so you know, you still have much to answer for regarding your intrusion into Arok's fort. <laughs> you knew that was us, huh? It'd be super cool if we could just, you know, put that whole thing behind us for the time being. <laughs> if we must. Now, now. <laughs> nice to meet you all, too. Anyway, what are we just hanging around here for? Let's make for the north of the highlands. All right, but I'd like to swing by the settlement first. Yeah, you should use your telephone to report back to Zendergate about everything we found out so far. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be riding on the back of your thing? Mm, well, I could. But I think I'm gonna ride on the back of your horse instead. Wait, what? Lammy! <laughs> Whoa! did so seems familiar somehow. Come on, are we going or not? Let's go catch us some big bad wannabe Jaegers! Wannabes? Let's go get them wannabes. Alright, so what do we do? To the settlement. Yeah! So let's head back to the settlement. If you keep squirming around back there, you're gonna him. fall off. Take a minute. Yeah. So she's on the team now. Oh, wait, what's going on? Is she? Yeah, there she goes. She on the team. All right, cool. So, okay, good. They gotta stay quickly. Thank you. Thank you, game. Don't don't take us over there slow. Don't delay. Don't dilly dally. So I would have been both.
Nord Highlands. Highlands. <laughs> I don't know why I said them like that. The Nord Highlands. The Nord Highlands. Yeah, I was right to not batch this episode with the last episode. We would have been there for like three hours or so. Which would have been crazy. It's not easy beating these JRPGs. They take some time. Okay, where are we going? No, we're having these north or south. Where are we going? Right. Is this the right one? I don't know right. Okay, there we go. We are in the right way. All right, let's go. It just takes us so long to travel from one end to the map. That's why I said this is the well, longest. Well, if we keep up this pace, we might make it in time after all. Like the other places, they have not might. They have you their really things to them to make them long too. But to be honest, yeah, it, it's the more high because everything is so far away. So, man, actually to the point, I think once you beat this, you're like halfway through with the game, maybe more than because this yeah. level is just so long. So the other levels in this game ain't gonna be nothing like this. I was worried when I saw this level because I was like, oh man, all these levels are gonna be long. And they wasn't. They was uh they were they was respectable length of levels. The only one that was short was that first one. But I get it. But I was worried that the games were gonna get the, the levels were gonna get longer and longer as we went. It's like man. This actually I don't know why they didn't put this towards the end actually. This might have worked better. The ancient quarry is this way, yeah. right? Yep, just round the back of this but, statue. I don't know. We just decided. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. The Nord High. Yeah. The Nord Highlands. Okay, so yeah. now we we making our way to a dungeon. I hated this dungeon when I first did. This, this might be one of the first annoying dungeons ever in, in this series. And and the funny part about it is they explain yeah. mechanics to you that probably should have been explained at the beginning of the game. And they explained it for the first time. So and that an evil djinn is sealed away here. Evil well, djinn. that's what the legends say. But no one really knows for sure. Uh, and you're sure that armed group you mentioned is hiding in here? It seems likely. Yep. I think they're probably lying low deep down in the quarry. I mean, I know they're here. I saw a bunch of them stream in from the entrance up there about an hour ago. Laying low in the quarry. But how'd they get up there in the first place? Yeah. You think they used a rope ladder like the one we found near the mortars? Yeah. It's difficult to tell from this yeah. far away. Anyway, we'll need to go in from this entrance down here. Me and Lammy could fly up there no problem, but that doesn't help the rest of you out much. <laughs> well, you have a point, oh, but... I'm not sure entering here is going to prove much easier for us. What do you propose we do about this huge stone door? Stone door. Come on, get off your horses. Me and Lammy will take care of this door, no sweat. Oh, we ought to dismount anyway. Okay, so she can just... Oh, is she in the party? Look at this. Boom! <laughs> oh, man. <gasps> Boom! What? Amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Lammy. Hey, me and this huh? sucker take this What's wrong? Down. I thought Boom. we were in a hurry to... Y yeah. What? Mm, sorry, can Classified? We can continue... Oops, I don't know why I'm skipping a dot. Okay, so Emma's off. Okay, whatever. Um... Let's go ahead and continue. Oh man, the music. Oh, I got the music. So this is when the game started getting mystical. They start putting in mystical dungeons like this. And the music is good when they get in there. Uh oh, what? A teak! <laughs> yes, then. Okay, so we got something called Death Boy. We got something called Death Actually, let's what uh. Go. It's my turn. Fire. It's my turn. Okay, so they got. It. So yeah, this is when the game start putting effects in here. So actually, now that this is happening, enemies can come in here and one shot my teams. Yeah. This was a mistake when this started happening. I remember as soon as this started happening, things got bad. Like now, my characters can start dying. Shot, all of that. But anyway, let's make quick work of this stuff. Okay. Here we go. Let's smash them. Okay, wait. We need to do the gale. All right. Wait, wait. My turn. I can do this. Right, so she is very this. powerful. I might. Uh, I need to rework her equipment though, because I'm, I'm tired of this outfit too. 
Let's go. Oh, we can't do anything. Can we do this? No, we can't do anything. Okay, so we just can't do anything. What are those clothes? Yeah. Yeah, anyway. that. I'm actually rather okay, curious myself. Okay, that's the quarry, and that might be the boss right there. So that's where you get some treasure. Like if I go here, it's probably some Bring it on. Here I go. Go, go. go. Away, Leave it to me. Yeah. It's my turn. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's keep on. Yeah, it's moving. probably some treasure over here. There, there. Did I know this will get you to the yeah. outside, but. How does that thing even work? This thing don't work. This is like some of the most clunkiest like oh, attacks I've ever seems seen. to be a treasure chest here. It's a good dungeon though. I like this dungeon. Yeah. It, it, it's short, but and they introduced the annoying mechanic. I don't like the enemies in the dungeon. I think that's my issue with that dungeon. The enemies. Like to be honest, most of these dungeons and games are like it's like a ruin, like a architect dungeon or something here. Punch that. Thing. Can't get him. Oh, my turn. Let's go. Oh, and we can switch out to the other guys. That's cool. Yes, sir. It's my turn. Fire. Leave it to okay. me. That thing is my turn. There. Got I go with the Yeah, I know you going with a wind. There. There. Get the out of here. There. There. Get shit out of here. Okay, so now we going to the exit. So, like this is this is pretty short, so it's not much. We that one's huge. Punch it to be. Okay, so the boss gotta be here. What is the boss? I forgot what the boss was here. It's something, but it might not be significant. It's like some of these bosses have some more significance, and some of them don't. And I can't remember if this one does or not. But I do see this, so I can rest. I can rest. I can take a nappy nap. All right, now let's go. Same day. Of course it's the same day. Are these guys going to talk? They're not going to talk. Huh? Be speckled man ain't talking. Man. He ain't talking. Man. And we've seen him before. Where you come from? Oh, that ain't talking. Who are these kids? Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. And you're under arrest on He's suspicion of an unprovoked attack Suckers on both the Imperial on. Watchtower and Republican Army base. How fitting, delegating your dirty work to these swine. To these swine. But your contemptible scheme ends here. What was that? Swine! You kids are dead meat! Hmm. Swine. Ah, yes. That makes sense. You're the students responsible for interfering with our work in Celtic. Wait, th Th then the one who hired those bandits... ...was me! <laughs> yes, it was I. Did you think the provincial army capable of competent planning and subterfuge? You're like an NPC. G or Gideon? You may call me Gideon, though in some circles I'm known simply as... G. That is perhaps as much as you may ever know. Some circles? Oh. <laughs> Some circles. Those bellicose ideals are not simply the ravings of a lone madman, then. Your name doesn't matter to me. If you intend to shatter the peace of this land, we'll stop you by any means necessary. Uh huh. You're all coming with us. So you really think you could take us, huh? I don't know what the weird kid's doing with them. But bottom line, there just needs to be no witnesses. Ain't that right? Correct. Ain't that right? It pains me to pull still budding flowers up by the roots. What's happening? Leave up. Whoa. I'm afraid you already know far too much to return Wait a minute. alive. The soil That's that you know of much. this ancient land will be watered with your blood before the day is done. <laughs> what? Looks like they're serious. Then we'll have to respond in kind. All right, let's give them a class seven thrashing. But remember, we need them disarmed and alive. Class seven thrashing. Okay, let's do the special. Uh, I'm I can't let you live. Pick these up. My turn. Pick these up. Do your special. Actually, maybe I don't want to do your special. Here we go. 
tío. Hay que hacerle. Aquí en cambio. No, bien. Bien pesa. They're only students. I can do this. Esto ya, ¿no? With them, they sure no, how could a group like of vets this. lose to a gang of kids still in the throes of puberty? <laughs> Wait, oh, what? I think I know who you are now. There's a mercenary group called Bugbear made of wannabe Jaeger dropouts. That's Bug you guys, Beer? right? They call it Bugbear. I guess you were planning to start calling yourselves a real Jaeger Corps after you pulled off this big job, huh? They bootlegs called Bugbear. How do you know about us? Cause we so Get the students. What's up with this kid? That monster of hers is gonna kill us. Hey, don't you be calling Lammy a monster! Such meanies, aren't they, Lammy? They're not the only ones who've got some questions about her. I might have an idea, but let's see how this plays out. <laughs> You're one of the children, aren't you? <laughs> the silver puppeteer, also known as the white rabbit. Am I mistaken? Oh, wow, you've heard of me? I certainly have. And if you're here, this is a chance I simply cannot miss. I'd be pleased to punch your ticket along with everyone else's for a one-way journey to the great beyond. A flute? What is that song? Above us, watch out! What? <gasps> We got Jurai Gumo. Labyrinth spot. Gonna shot. Is it not? What the hell is that? Oh. <laughs> oh. So he just ate that. You think we're looking at the face of the djinn from the legends? Whatever it is, it seems like it's made this quarry its lair. <laughs> Quite a hardy specimen we have here. To have survived from the times of antiquity is no small feat. No doubt its long slumber has left it with a powerful hunger. Do be sure to give it a proper meal, would you? Farewell, then. May your struggle be mercifully brief. What? Did he seriously run away? A grappling hook? Help us, please! I don't want to die. Help! Damn, there's no time to chase after him. We have more immediate problems. Yes, got to. Right. And we can't just leave these soldiers to the mercy of this beast. Yeah, we can. Skip. Group A, prepare to engage. We need to stop that spider before it can harm anyone else. Right. This will take everything we have. Okay, now I can start doing that stuff. Oh, you know that. I won't ring yeah. that. Now. Here we go. Motivate. All right. Let's do this. I can do this. Right. I guess you must. Be right. Leave it to me. All right, you get it started, guys. Yes. My turn. Okay. Now you. Come on, Boom. 
Get the hammer. Take that out. Get this stuff. Gone. All right, cool. They gone. So, <laughs> did this not voice? What happened? We just not voicing? What's going on? Why does she look over? Whatever. Uh, I guess I can save it. I don't know. Let's leave it right here. But yeah, I don't know why she looked over. That didn't make any sense to me. Yeah, we'll continue. I don't. We ain't done with it. So I don't know why they keep asking us to save. Like, we still in the North Highlands. We ain't done. All right, what now? What now in the North Highlands? I'm gonna tell the general the thing. Okay, they ain't voicing this for some reason. So this kid um, is is a oh there you go Lecter yeah so if you played the uh, zero game he was in the zero game Lecter Erado Ar so he in that game I think he kind of bogus in that in that zero game though he ain't got no voice actor here either so she a part of his team so she about to roll right out and that's weird because he was like kind of bogus and. Was he bad in the um, zero game? He might have been. Like, he was kind of very bogus. So I don't know if he turned over a new leaf or if he was still bad. I don't know. But yeah, so she's tied to an existing, pre existing character. I think we might be done with the North Islands. I don't know why they didn't voice none of that. You would think they would voice some of that stuff. Look at them horses. Don't do don't. Yeah! <laughs> Let's ride. The Nord Highlands. Yeah. Let me ride into the sunset with the Nord Highlands. The Nord. 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 Want to be a Nord. Precisely on time. Uh oh. Cuts it. Comrade G, you've done well. You've done well. <laughs> Man. Is that Dark Vader? Dark Vader! Comrades, I, I, I wasn't expecting you to come all this way. A leader has to make sure all the gears are moving as they should. It sounds like the plan was a resounding success. Keep your pity to yourself. Our aim was to stir up a conflict with the Republic that would force him to let his guard down. To that end, this wretched state of affairs could hardly be called a success. It can And yet, even this outcome will work to our advantage in the days ahead. In the days After ahead. After all, we demonstrated that he faces the risk of his ranks being divided without warning at any time. And neither the Icy Maiden nor Scarecrow can hope to outwit us. Scarecrow. You have a point. We should begin making preparations for the next step of our plan. The time has finally come to present ourselves on the world stage. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah, he is pretty funny. Ah, ah. The teacher. Oh boy. At least all's well that ends well, right? <laughs> is that Dark Vader from Star Wars? What are you doing here? Everyone in Group A is safe, and we narrowly avoided war with Calvard. Calvard? Oh. So the Calvard region is the... Um, we're on that saga now with Trails of uh, Daybreak trust through daybreak so that's cool though i can't say i was expecting the intelligence division to show up when they did a jet black airship probably one of reinford's latest models the military uses them for reconnaissance the nobles and the rich just use them for fun but as for how they got one 
You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? <laughs> The maids rolling out? What the You really are a sharp one, Lady Sarah. It's almost troubling. I'm impressed that you can tell I was there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you let me have that one. I felt a familiar sensation, though, just for a second. Makes me think back to this one time, two years ago. Two years ago, you say? Never mind. But you really don't know, then. Where that airship came from? I'm afraid not. I checked the Rhineford Group's manufacturing records and couldn't find a trace. At least not in the official files. <laughs> Sounds like Rhineford has its own issues to deal with. Well, let's put that aside for now. I'm on my way to the settlement. What are you planning to do? Hmm. Well, I would like to give my regards to Master Gwen, so I would like to accompany you, if that's all right. Some long custom. I can hardly wait to see the look on Lady Elisa's face when I show up. So clearly they know each other. They just... Somebody pretending. It's probably that maid pretending. Sometimes I actually feel bad for that girl. That maid is sketchy. Well, well. And we've done it. We have. Did we complete chapter three? I think we did. I don't know. We still in the Nord Highlands? Oh, man. We never getting up out of here. Whoa, we still here. Just ain't never done with the Nord Highlands. Turbo mode. Speed this greenery scenery up. So Gaia's dad just never had spoken dialogue. Yeah, no voice acting in this game. They, f they skipped it. They forgot it. They forgot to give him a voice actor. So we got more story for Alicia here than Gaius, which that's not right. <laughs> like, what happened there? And you know what? I don't think there's nothing else we can get for Gaius no more. <laughs> like, that's the end. He is done with his story. Oh, well. Did we ever get anything for Elliot? Man. They probably gonna give us some for Elliot later on, and you know the rest of these characters. Like they gotta get some type of explanation on who they are, otherwise that would be terrible. But now you guys should understand Gaius at least, and to some degree Alicia. Drinks are on me someday. Cool, we did our thing out here. I think you could have done better than that. Really? And gave me a C. Wow. So that was chapter three. Um. Uh, beyond the railways they call it um i guess we can stop the video there but i was gonna continue a little bit longer just to nah we'll stop it right there all right anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video that was the north highlands we did it and stay tuned for the next one we got about three more field studies and like a final dungeon i believe well final finals thing so we're getting there we're making our way we're about halfway done with the game i think all right, anyway, take care. Bye.